In the heart of medical dramas and real-life emergency rooms, lies a maneuver as dramatic as it is life-saving. Welcome to our deep dive into the Trendelenburg position, a technique that has shaped patient care in ways you might never have imagined. Every second counts in the world of medicine, or a single position can mean the difference between life and death. Today, we're exploring the Trendelenburg position, a fascinating medical maneuver with a rich history and a broad range of applications. But how did this position come to be, and why is it so significant in patient care? Join us as we unfold the story, from its origins to its controversial use in modern medicine. Let's start with the basics. The Trendelenburg position involves lying the patient on their back, then tilting the table so the feet are elevated higher than the head. But this isn't just any patient position. It's a strategic maneuver designed to enhance blood flow to vital organs when every moment counts. The mind behind this revolutionary position is Dr. Friedrich Trendelenburg, a name that has left an indelible mark on the medical field. But who was Dr. Trendelenburg, and what led him to develop this position that bears his name? Let's delve into the history books and uncover the story of a man whose legacy continues to impact surgeries in patient care worldwide. From gynecological to abdominal surgeries, the Trendelenburg position has been a game-changer. By tilting the patient, surgeons gain a clearer view and easier access to the operative field. But its applications don't stop there. From facilitating certain childbirths to aiding in the management of shock, this position has proven its versatility and importance in the medical world. Let's explore the various scenarios where the Trendelenburg position shines and understand why it's considered a critical tool in the medical toolkit. However, not all that glitters is gold. Despite its widespread use, the Trendelenburg position has sparked controversy and debate among medical professionals. With risks ranging from airway obstruction to the potential for fluid aspiration, the medical community is re-evaluating its use. We'll examine the risks associated with this position, why some practitioners are moving away from it, and the situations where its benefits might be outweighed by its drawbacks. The application of the Trendelenburg position extends beyond the confines of hospitals and operating rooms. Shockingly, this medical maneuver has found its way into darker realms, including its use in the torture technique known as waterboarding. We'll delve into the unsettling transformation of a life-saving medical practice into a tool of torture, exploring the ethical implications and the stark contrast between healing and harm. But what does the Trendelenburg position mean to the people on the receiving end and those administering it? Hear firsthand from patients who've been in this position and the medical professionals who've used it. Their stories shed light on the human side of this medical practice, offering perspectives that statistics alone cannot convey. The Trendelenburg position is more than just a medical maneuver. It's a testament to the complexity and depth of medical practice, reflecting both the brilliance and the ethical challenges inherent in the field. As we conclude our journey through the highs and lows of the Trendelenburg position, we're reminded of the delicate balance between innovation and ethics, between life-saving techniques and their potential for misuse. Thank you for joining us on this in-depth exploration of the Trendelenburg position. If you found this video enlightening, don't forget to like, comment, and share your thoughts. Have you or someone you know experienced the Trendelenburg position? Share your stories in the comments below. And for more fascinating medical stories and explorations, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and take care.